If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Okay, guys, so as I've mentioned in the 4411 video, uh, there's going to be a lot of custom tactics coming out. So be sure to take a look at all of them because it's all dependent on the person using the actual tactic, right? Some people might prefer different ones, so on and so forth. So the first thing to mention, is this a mainstay formation tactic for myself? No, right? This 424 is more so for... I think it's if you want possession of the ball back at some point, right? Because uh, it's important to mention that with formations like this, you are obviously way more vulnerable in the middle of the pitch, which is where people attack against the most, right? So 424, it's hard for me to see someone using a 424 for an entire weekend league. But if you do, then full props to you because that's an overcommitment like crazy. And <laughs> if you could somehow get 20 and 0, facing the people that are constantly doing like the the specific cutback attacking ai i give you map props for sure because these types of formations they're cool to review different ones but they do stray away from the meta of the gameplay because this formation is usually the one to use when you need a goal back right but obviously with a custom tactic set up it's more so for regular use so again it does stray away from the meta a little bit okay but i still liked it for what it was from playing it normally it still played really nice normally um so yeah, if you do end up using a custom tactic like this, it's actually very ideal to have two different variations where you have this regularly set up and then you have the ultra attacking one where you basically have like constant pressure. Uh, your defensive line is significantly higher on depth just for you to get possession of the ball and then potentially score. Right. So uh, but yeah, the way that this setup is for this formation is set up like this. Right. So your left striker is on stay central, get in behind your right striker is on stay central. Oh, excuse me, your left striker is just stay central. Your right striker is on stay central, get in behind. Your right wing and your left wing is on cut inside, get into box for cross and get back or come back in defense, right? Um, what you notice a lot with these formations nowadays is that a lot of people are starting to implement their wing players cutting on the inside so that they can congest the middle of the pitch as much as possible. Because here's the thing, right? You still play with width when you have your left and right attacking mids in the side positions. But when you have instructions that basically tell them to cut inside, you're basically telling them to do two different things. One could be technically staying out. Why? Because they'll still do that sometimes. And then the other one is the cut inside, which can be very helpful for that extra pass to score a finesse shot or to score a goal to the near post, right? So a lot of people are doing this nowadays and it seems to be working for a lot of people. Uh, your left center mid is on stay back, cover center balanced. Uh, your right center mid is stay back, cover center, edge of box, right? So the edge of box one, you want that one to be your more defensive oriented card, right? So if you have someone like a Chuameni, use him there. You could technically use two high, high work rated players. Just make sure that they're both good at attacking and defending. It's going to be very important for a formation like this if you want to have more of a balance in your team, right? But a true many is always the go-to decision when it comes to that more defensive-oriented midfielder. If people, and this is an if part, if people do not enjoy using two high highs, it just depends on the person, right? But your left center mid, you go with a lot of different options, right? With players that are really good box-to-box -box players. You want preferably a high, high work credit card there because you want that balance of someone pushing forward as well as coming back, right? Uh, both of your fullbacks over here on stay back while attacking overlap. So overlap is because uh, of the fact that you already have a left wing, but your left wing is significantly higher than the way your midfielders are set up because they're on cover center, right? So it's nice that when you are generally building up the play, you can build up the play with your midfielders and your defenders, and you'll always have that side position to work with because when you're your fullback basically pushes forward, he'll have the left wing to basically do like a through ball pass or whatever it is because you guys know wing play is still pretty relevant in this game nowadays, right? So um, the types of players you want, I tell you guys this all the time, in the defensive positions, you want a full meta defense as much as possible. Your right center mid, you want the more defensive oriented card that could still potentially help you on the attack as well. There's a few cards that can be really nice in that high, high work rate of position. Some people have like evolution cards that are really nice, uh, but yeah, just try your best to get someone who's high, high that can obviously dribble really nicely. Like guys, even if you want to go with 
you know, using a Frankie de Jong there, you can actually do that if you really want to, right? Because it'll, you'll basically have like two cards that can help you out in the general build-up play. Left center mid, you know, you can even use de Jong there. You can use the Ben Acer card. You can use a, a lot of different midfielders. You can use Modric. Modric would be great there too. You know, a lot of different cards. Uh, side positions. The strikers, I feel like you have to be more linear with. You have to be really really on the money with you need like meta players in my opinion to, to have that proper attacking ai and stuff like a zeb use icon card mbappe's all those types of guys are going to be way, really ideal but if you guys were smart enough to get some evolution cards that you have been able to improve to a point where they can be really nice in the striker position then obviously you're going to be really golden in this situation right so always look into that as well and then the wing positions pretty self-explanatory you if you can get players that actually play in the wing positions in those areas it'll be really ideal because even if your card doesn't have the finesse shot traits and they could just go for the outside foot shot the outside foot shot will be perfectly fine to work with too okay so hopefully you guys enjoy this little description the way that the tactic is set up i almost forgot to mention the way that the tactic is set up in defense and offense is 31 for width 60 for depth width on 30 players in the box set to five one for corners one for free kicks and just to let you know the chance creation and offense is all balanced right so he does not have direct passing on these okay um and that's pretty much it uh really yeah so we use this one for a little bit this was like during the holidays as well and it was pretty decent to work with again i don't think it's like a mainstay formation but i did find it to excuse me <coughs> my throat's super dry it is a formation that is worth trying out if you enjoy using the 424 Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Ah, eh, yeah, I'd be like that. Probably gonna be a rage quit from that too. Right away. Touch, pass, shoot. Nice. Hey, I'll tell you this right now. Cards enjoyable so far. Cards enjoyable so far. Look at that, bro. It's so scary, man. That play style, I'm telling you guys, is is it's terrifying. It's literally terrifying, bro. Nice play, nice play, we'll take that. Nice job. Finesse shot plus. Well done, well done. Sure. We'll take that. We'll take that. There it is. We'll take that. Oh, FIFA mechanics to score, man. Nicely done. Track back meta. There we go. Ingman Sun makes the run. We get the open space and we score. Nice. Ah, yeah, I'd be like that. I'm gonna be a rage quit from that too. Right away. 
Touch, pass, shoot. Nice. Legrand switch upwards, pass it back. Composure, lads, composure. There it is, the lengthy will push the pace out of him a little bit. L1. See, that's a bad dribble on my part, right? Because I have to stop him there. There we go. Pass it. Use your lengthy. Ball roll cross. Oof. The ball roll cross is what's crazy. You can do it normally, too, but... Look at that, bro. It's so scary, man. Nice play, nice play. We'll take that. I oh, will take it. Nice job. Finesse shot plus. Well done, well done. Sure. We'll take that, we'll take that. There it is, we'll take that. Oh, FIFA mechanics to score, man. Nicely done. There we go. 